Hey everybody. We are in the Allied Health Careers Building at Central Piedmont Community College in Charlotte, North Carolina. And of course, have a look at the stairwell. You can see the skylight up on the top of the roof up there. But anyways, uh, this will probably be the last video I'll be shooting by myself. Of these Chiss and Krupp hydraulic elevators in this building. And I tell you what's funny about these things is why in the world do they install hydraulic elevators in a six story building? Six stories when you consider the penthouse level. Anyways, let's ride one. We'll do a full tour. This is the bigger of the two, hospital sized. And the fan is not on the day. Now it turns out. The switch still says it's set on low, but it's not on. So let's go up to the penthouse. So they called it up, actually. And watch the back door open. And of course, the reason why we didn't stop was because the call up was actually a down call, so we had to send the other elevator up. But, anyways, get you a quick cab view, and we'll let this one close and get you a look. For those who have not seen any of my prior videos of this building, this is a crazy layout if I've ever seen one. You got this penthouse mechanical room and it's actually pretty large. So that's why you had this big elevator here. This elevator here, here I believe is a, um, I think the capacity on it is 4,500 pounds while the other one is 2,500 pounds. And it's only, the penthouse level is only about half a level or probably a third of a level up from the fifth floor. I can step down here to the fifth floor. And again, here's a look. Look how far down we are. I mean, look how far down that is. Very high for hydraulic elevators. Over there is the entrance into the existing built building. Now let's take this elevator back down to first floor, I guess, and we'll switch over. Let's go down to one and we'll switch over. You know guys, actually I think what I'm gonna do is take this thing for one more ride. I'll be graduating from a school in a week or two. It's my last semester here, so I won't be here near as much as I used to be. I mean, this is the first time I've rode this thing filling with the fan off. Now let's get a listen to that dry power motor. This time we're only going to go to five.
sent out in the penthouse. And we'll get the other one. And it's all the way on one, so I don't know if this is going to work or not. So let's try it. Yeah, it's sending this one. Now it's going to open up on penthouse. It's funny, this one, I believe the hydraulic motor is submersible and that one is dry power. So kind of awkward, but um, we'll take this one to one. and take it back up to five and end the tour up on five. Close does not work. Now, of course, the fan is on this one. Let's go back up to five. Which, by the way, there's your certificate. Get you a quick cab view. Only three of the overhead lights are working. Step out, get you a quick cab view, right quick. A second cab view, I guess. Let it close. I think it's my first time doing a video of these elevators late in the evening, but now you can actually see outside this um, window really good. And as you can see across the street is the Levine IT building. That up top is the elevator machine room. Of course, if you don't know, that building has Otis Series 1 traction elevators. Now here's something I don't think I've ever done before. Yeah, I did do it one time, but I figured seeing this is probably the last video I'll take of, you know, the elevators at CPCC. Let's go ahead and ride the Dover elevator back down to the first floor. And of course, as you saw, the Allied Health building part was from 2009. This is the older section of the building from the early 70s. And of course over here, as you have probably seen before my videos, there are the 1974 Dover Traction Elevators. These are relay controlled. I figure let's get, get you a quick look at this window. Of course, you can see a reflection. Maybe so let's come back down to the first floor. And we're getting the elevator that has the fan turned off. Wonderful. And of course, this thing was modernized again in. December and January of you know last year and this year, they did a complete cab modernization, new fixtures, took out the mad BS buttons and put in PTLs, which I didn't like. You know, redone the floor, that kind of stuff. But this elevator nudges.
There it goes. And that's all.